Good morning. How's everybody on this lovely Friday? We're back here again. I know I say this every week, but it's Friday again. How did that happen? At least it's not raining. Well, at least it's not raining here anyway. Um, I hope everybody is well. Let's just see if I can see us on the line um, and see if anyone's joining us this morning, which will be great. There are people starting to watch. Oh, lovely. They're starting to find us, which is wonderful. Good morning. Hello from Madonna. Is already there. Oh, lovely. And oh, brilliant. Sue and Christine. Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> He's beating me to it already this morning. <laughs> lovely. People are finding us. That's brilliant. How are you all today? It's another lovely day in paradise, isn't it? Um, it's not raining, which is fantastic. Uh, the sun is out, even though it's a little bit cloudy. I'd love to know where it's like, what it's like where you are, um, wherever you are, because we're having starting to find people are finding us from all over the place, actually, which is amazing, which is rather lovely. Um, oh, loads of good mornings. That's brilliant. Oh, there's somebody called Tup. What a lovely name, Tup. That's really cool. I like that. So today we've got loads of new fabrics to show you. Um, and the first one I'm going to show you is, uh, it wasn't one I'd ordered, actually. It kind of found us and was sent to us by mistake, but I'm kind of warming to it now. And it's this one. It's got lots of lovely faces on it. And it's called All the Single Ladies. I think it's quite cool. Let me zoom in on There we go. I think it's totally fab. Oh, jeans in Land's End in Cornwall and said it's sunny and fresh down there. That's wonderful. Hopefully we'll be heading your way soon. Um, I think it's a very cool fabric. I know. We were thinking earlier on this morning, actually, what would you make? What would you make with it? And I reckon this would look really cool as a Desdemona skirt, actually just with then a little kind of top or something like that with it, I think that would look fabulous. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. It wasn't one that I'd ordered, it found its way to us. Um, so maybe we were meant to have it, but let me know what you think. What would you make with it? Yeah, I think it's quite cool actually. All the single ladies, it's 150 centimeters wide and it's a cotton lawn as well. So it's a really nice one to work with. And it's quite cool, I think. Yeah, it's growing on me, this one. It's growing on me. So I'm going to pop it over on the ironing board so we've got a bit more space. There we go. Now, it is all about the print today. It's all about the print. We've had some lovely fabrics. Which haven't even taken the I know. plastic off. We haven't, literally, they arrived yesterday. So we haven't even kind of got rid of the plastic yet. Uh, you do that. Oh, sorry. It's is that really noisy? Really noisy. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Because I can't hear it. Charlie's the one with the headphones on and it's right in his ear. So I do apologise. Oh, there we go. Uh, looks like the sewing club on Zoom. It does a bit, actually, Christine, yes. Oh, dear. A Beyonce special. Oh, yeah. A classic shirt. Oh, Julie, I like that idea. That would look really nice, actually, wouldn't it? In that, all the single ladies. I think that's quite cool. Uh, let's see... Oh, people are lo lots of people actually but, mm, people are liking it so that's good wonderful now this one was really popular last time we had it on it's called onlookers and i think somebody had made up a hippolyta or a helena dress out of it and it looks fabulous it really does so this is onlookers and it's kind of like a sort of a picasso-esque sort of uh, drawing with faces. I'm zooming in now. You're zooming in. There we go. There go. I like this one too. You like this one, yeah. Yeah. I think it's fab. There are people joining us from Weymouth oh, to gosh. Land's End to Glasgow. Oh, marvellous. Absolutely amazing. And Essex, and yes. Oh no, Christine says she wants a bag of crisps now. Has that noise reminded you of a bag of crisps? Oh, I do too now. Oh no, that actually that's making me feel hungry too. I might have a bag of crisps. 
downstairs, I'm not sure. I think I saw one hiding in the kitchen, actually. Oh, right, good. <laughs> there we go. So this is onlookers. Again, 150 wide, beautiful kind of weight. It's actually the same weight as the Crane Island, which I'm wearing at the moment, which we've got back in stock, which I'm really excited about, which I will show you in a sec. So I love this one. And it has that really nice, it's got little hints of kind of mint and sky blue in it, which I think I'll are lovely. Zoom in again. I'll there we go. Zoom in as much as I can so people can actually see some colour. Oh, look. Tina says you can't decide what to make with onlookers. You dare not cut into it yet. I, I, do you know what, Tina? I think a Hippolyta in this would look amazing, actually. You want something that's going to be able to show off the pattern. And Hippolyta, I think, would look fantastic in this. It really would. And then you could have, I saw, now, my rope necklaces come from a lady called Beth Pegler. And she's had a sale on recently. And she's got a beautiful necklace in that mint green colour. So a Hippolyta with a lovely mint green rope necklace. Have you been purchasing again? No, I haven't. <laughs> really? She says, no, I've just been looking. I've just been looking. <laughs> just been looking. Oh, oh, Marie's in Edinburgh. Oh, wow. Uh, I have the onlookers cut out ready to in a play suit length Cressida. Oh, now that's a nice idea, Kate. That sounds nice, actually. I like that. Don't forget to post some pictures when you're done because we love seeing what people do with our patterns and fabrics. And we've got uh, Rasheen in Northern Ireland. Oh, lovely. Hello, Rasheen. Hello from into Northern Ireland. That's really cool. Um, now, this one we have shown before. Now, this was actually, my daughter made herself a dress out of this. It's a viscose chalice. Now, somebody asked me the other day, what chalice was and chalice was a it's kind of like the same weight as a crepe but without the texture of a crepe it used to be most commonly in wool but now it's kind of used as a loose sort of term for um kind of nice floppy fabric basically um but it hasn't got that kind of crepey sort of texture to it it's a lot more matte if you see what I mean so that's basically what chalice is this is a viscose chalice and it's lovely and soft I'll and, zoom it, in. and it has got little bunnies on it I'll which zoom is in even more so that we can see those very cute there you go. oh Alison says she's made a Helena have you made the Helena in the onlookers that's rather cool actually little bunnies little bunnies now this actually Oh, morning, Laurie. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, there we go. Now, this actually comes in another colourway as well, which I'm going to show you in just a sec. Now, I'm going to move this one out of the way because I'm going to save that because that's just gorgeous. This I love. I think this is really cool. So it's kind of like an electric blue version. Uh, again, it's got bunnies on it, but it's got the odd pink and emerald one in it too. Same fabric, but I think... That's so cute. This would make up beautifully in an Imogen or um, actually a silky Hippolyta would be really nice. Um, or even a Miranda dress. That would be cool. cool. Or uh, possibly even Kate. That would be quite nice. It's a nice little cool Kate to slip on. Really sweet. I love those. So those are both viscose chalice. 150 wide again, so they're actually nice and economical to use. Um, I'm going to stick those over on the ironing board again, so they're out of the way, because we've got a lot to get through. Now this, I absolutely adore. This, I think, out of all of the new fabrics that have come in, is my absolute favourite. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. There we go. It reminds me of um, the Durrells. Yes. Actually, yes. that's what it reminds me of. Holidays in the yep. Mediterranean. Yeah. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? This would look amazing in a summer dress. It really would. It would look absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's a viscose chalice. So it has that lovely kind of soft, you can f look at it. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I'm getting excited about this fabric, you can tell. It's absolutely beautiful, it really is. 
and it would just be a joy to work with, it really would. These light kind of viscousy type fabrics aren't that slippy to work with, they're actually very nice to work with. And, uh, could, oh, Rasheen, could a beginner manage the collar on Hippolyta? Absolutely, Rasheen. The instructions will take you through everything step by step. And if you get stuck with anything, just let us know and we're happy to help. So again, it's one of those things. I always say to people, sit down with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and read the instructions first. I know people kind of like are itching to dive in, but actually, if you read everything first and kind of try and link it with the diagrams, when you come to actually do it yourself and you're reading back over everything, it does make more sense. I absolutely promise you. Um, don't forget, we've got, um, there's loads of help and advice in our community in the sewing studio. And you can also post and ask questions in our Facebook group, um, Sew Me Something Friends as well. And there's loads of people there that will work happy to help um, and you can always contact us directly as well if you are struggling over a particular point so I would say give it a go and see how it comes out uh, oh the green chalice Debbie the green chalice is 150 wide so all of the fabrics that I'm going to show you today are 150 wide including the ones that are on the rolls rather than the bolts uh, Debbie, oh, I feel an order coming on. I have a new sewing machine. In that case, you definitely need to have a lovely new project to work on your new sewing machine. I think that would be rude not to. Uh, oh, Laurie, it reminds you of the, your time on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Oh, how lovely. I know, this is just beautiful, isn't it? Loads of colours in there as well that you can pick out too. I think it's gorgeous. And I might have to actually have some to make a dress out of either for me or for Orla I can't decide who probably me actually <laughs> there we go that's a lovely one this now this we've actually used this is called gentle beauty that was it I knew it was beauty something Again, oh, sorry I'm not going to crunch it up I'm going to throw it on the floor. It's really loud. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to throw that on the floor and I'll pick it up and crunch it up later. <laughs> this is really gorgeous. Now, we've used this on our camisole. There we go. Now, that's... So, you can actually see it made up. It's absolutely lovely. It really is. Again, it's a viscose chalice. So, it has that lovely, soft kind of drape to it, which is beautiful. I think it looks lovely. Really like this one. Oh, Christine, you're sewing with the showering vine this morning. Uh, found out you need a fine needle and it doesn't pucker. Ideally, yes. The best tip really is you can have a basic kind of needle on your machine that goes with most things. But to be honest, if you're going to get a better result, you want to match your needle to your fabric. So if you are working on something like... Um, a viscose chalice or a cotton lawn that's nice and lightweight, you're going to need a finer needle. And that way you haven't got too fat a needle trying to push its way through a nice thin fabric. Makes a big difference, a big, big difference. So do try and remember to match your needle to your fabric. Um, I love the idea that somebody posted uh, a while ago about keeping old needles and, um, and using them for twirls and stuff like that and then actually starting a new project with a new needle. I think that's a really good idea. So you're not just binning your old one, you're just using it again. What I've started doing actually is actually putting it into a piece of calico and writing next to it the date that I've put it on there and what I was using it for. So that way you know how old the needle is and how many times you've used it kind of thing. And that way you can then not waste needles because they're not cheap, let's face it, but they are something that you definitely want to change working with new projects, which is really cool. Um, I knew I was going to get asked for this. Someone has said, where's the pattern for the camisole? <laughs> I was just wondering that too. The camisole and the knickers were ones we use for workshops. Now, all I'm going to do is say, watch this space. I'm not going to say anything else. How enigmatic. I know. I can be enigmatic sometimes. Uh, there we go. Oh, Rasheen, it's your birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. That sounds wonderful. Actually, we've got a birthday this weekend, haven't we? Seamus is 21 on Monday. Oh. 
How did that happen? How am I old enough to have a 21 year old child, Charlie? That's just, oh. <laughs> honestly, I still feel about 25 inside. I'm sure you guys too as well. I'm 12. You're 12, I know, Charlie's permanently 12, which is a little bit wrong, actually, <laughs> on some levels. There we go. Uh, are these viscose phallus? No, then, Debbie, they're not see-through. No, they're not. They are dense enoughly woven so that you can't see through them. Let me zoom in on that. There so we go. Even the light colours actually are pretty good at that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Gentle Beauty be good for Miranda dress. Absolutely. That would be really nice, actually. That would work lovely. That would be super in Miranda. It really would. Um, one trick, when you're putting the zip in, if you're using a fabric like this, make sure that you stabilise the opening where the zip's going to go. So you want to cut yourself a little tiny strip of uh, lightweight um, interfacing, violin, iron-on, and then just attach that to your centre back seam before you neaten it. So attach your strip of violin just so that it crosses over. It wants to be about two centimetres wide, so it's just crossing over the stitching line that you're going to sew your zip onto. Um, and that will just help to stabilise everything and just stop your fabric from stretching and, and being a little bit awkward when you're putting your zip in. That makes a big difference. I'm just going to slightly Oops. change your microphone because oh it dear. is scratching a little is it bit scratchy? on the fabric. I can never get this right. There we go. Hopefully is that, that, that will be a bit better. Hopefully. Thank you. Marvellous. Um, Oh, Sue, e email us about your overlocker needles and we'll be able to help you. Um, yeah, send us an email about those and that should be fine. We'll get it sorted for you. Uh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Nicola, you've just ordered the Crane Island. Oh, wow. How do I join the private Facebook group? Nikki, we don't have a private Facebook. We've got a, com a Slack community. If you're new to Sewing Studio, all you have to do is really easy is to click on our community page on the inside the Sewing Studio website and then click on the Join Us button. That will take you to Slack. All you need to do then is to create an account and you do that by entering your email address and creating a password. Now, when you are re-entering your password for anything, just double check that when you're copying and pasting anything or you're typing anything in, you're not accidentally including a space. The biggest number of problems that we get with people kind of saying, oh, I can't get into here and I can't get into there. It's because nine times out of 10, there's an extra space where you are entering a password. So just make sure that you're entering exactly the password and not including any extra spaces. And then once you've done that, you just click on to, you created your Slack account and then it will ask you what workspace you want to join. And you say, uh, just click on the send me something one and you're in. And you'll come into the welcome and who are you page. So then you can just tell us who you are and where you're from and what you do. And uh, come and join everybody else there. So it's very, very easy. So don't, don't panic too much about trying to do it. You don't have to downloading apps and things like that. You can if you want to. But to be honest, all you need to do is just create your Slack account with an email and password and you're in. And then you'll be able to come and find us. There we go. Um, Leanne's just popped in some instructions there for you as well. So that's in the timeline. Fabulous. So this is Gentle Beauty, which is a Gentle Beauty, actually. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there we go. I think this works really nicely with the buddy, the powder blue linen that we've got here. I think that's gorgeous, actually. You could make a really beautiful little, oh, actually, I'm just thinking a pair of nice wide-legged, Porsche trousers in this and a little um, iris top would be so cute actually, really nice. Could even have it the other way around, have a pair of nice pale linen trousers and a little um, t-shirt like a peas or something in this which would be really nice. Lovely, I like that one a lot. There we go, so that's that one, that's another viscose chalice as well. Let's pop that on the ironing board. There we go. Now this is a little bit brighter, this one. 
one of our new cottons. I think this is really cool. I love this. It's nice and bright. And it has that kind of slightly retro 80s vibe to it as well, which is really cool. Let me zoom in. And there we go. Have a zoom. There you go. Oh, we'll zoom right in. Very cool. There we are. This is called Rainbow Clouds. And again, I think this would look really cool as um, a little kind of boxy top, boxy t-shirt in peas blossom would look really nice. Again, it would make up fat, it would look amazing in a Hippolyta actually, because you've just got such an amazing print to show off, which is lovely. I think that would look great. It's another cotton lawn, which is really nice. And actually it works quite nicely with the, um, both the linens that we've got there, the powder blue and the cobalt, actually would be quite funky. Nice and bright and cheerful, that one, which I really like. It's quite cool. It's got lots of interesting little marks on it. I don't know why they call it cloud. Rainbow clouds, it's called, but it's quite cool. I like that one. That's another one. We've got loads. It's all about the print today. We've got loads of lovely prints coming this way. Um, linens as well. I've just thrown in a few planes just so that you can kind of see how it kind of works with different fabrics. Um, but I love these. They are absolutely gorgeous. My favourite fabric of all time is linen. I cannot get enough of it. Um, and we've got some amazing colours as well. So I just popped these two in today just to show you what we've got in terms of linen and how they work. Um, this is a lovely one. Again, it's another viscose chalice, and we've got quite a few of these coming through. This is quite a nice one. It's just a little bit more conservative, but it's a navy with this lovely little spot all over it, which is actually really quite sweet. So if you're kind of, a lot of people are returning to work at the moment. If you're looking at making things um, that's slightly a bit more work wary, that kind of thing, that's a little bit more sensible, shall we say, this would be amazing in uh, a Miranda or, um, Imogen top would look lovely, really nice with a pair of nice smart trousers or a skirt or something like that for work. Um, it would also make up really nicely in a cape dress too, keep you nice and cool. And then you could add the frill on the bottom, which would look really nice. I'm liking that idea. Uh, there we go. Party on fabric. <laughs> Marie, yeah, it's just a bit like a party on fabric, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I'm liking that, which is really cool. So this is a lovely one. Now, we have got this in another colourway as well. So I'll show you that in a sec. But again, I think it looks really nice with that lovely powder blue. Just a pretty combination, actually. Lovely. So. Right, now we've got a few others. Now these, I'm going to move these ones out of the way just temporarily. I'm going to swap them over so that we've got a little bit more space and I can show you some other things. So let's move those ones in and I can swap those over. Honestly, I need a much bigger table. Really, we should be doing this downstairs. <laughs> we could do. I know where all the fabrics are. Maybe we should do that next time. I don't know. We'll see how easy that is. Now, I love this. This has been a, another favourite. And I'm not going to scrunch, I'm just going to throw it on the floor. Thank you. There we go. Oh, that beautiful chalky pink linen. We're trying, Kerry, we're trying. At the moment, trying to get hold of linen is really, really hard. So we are thinking out of the box in trying to source fabrics at the moment and uh, we'll let you know more about that later. Um, now, sensible, haha, <laughs> you haven't met my team, says Tina. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps, that kind of thing. I think, uh, yeah, that's a little bit like here, really. Um, so instead of the chalky pink, though, I know, looking at this, this is lovely. This is Siesta Beach. Now, again, we've had it in before, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. There we are, there we do it, around the right way so you can see it. Now this would make up amazingly well into a Cressida jumpsuit. That's what I had my eye on it for, actually. Zoom right in. Mm, I love this. So cool. It's got that sort of uh, 
Coco Chanel vibe to it. Lots of ladies in stripy swimming costumes and sunglasses. Which is really cool. And what would you make that one in? Oh, this, I would do this. Um, I would do this in a uh, Cressida. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think that would look amazing. Or even the Cressida as a dress, actually, would be really cool too. I love that. Then again, you could do a Desdemona skirt and have a lovely big... I quite like that kind of look, you know, a nice big summer skirt with a little boxy t-shirt could look really cool as well. And I think it actually works really nicely with this blush crepe. I think the two of those go quite nicely together. I know, my ironing board does look like it's going to collapse in a minute actually, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> It'll happen one day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Debbie, the Mopsy, it's 140, yeah, I should say it is 140 centimetres, which is 54 inches. Um, double check your pattern. What I would do is, if you have a look at your pattern layout, that's where how you put your pattern pieces on. If you've got 100, if, you've, if your fabric is 140 and your pattern is saying 150, you're probably going to be okay. There should be a little bit of wiggle room in there. Um, what happens is traditionally fabric was woven on 45 inch or 60 inch wide looms, which is why you've got your 114 or your 150 centimetre wide fabrics. Modern looms now are 140 centimetres, which is 54 inches. That's why there's a slight difference there. Um, so I would just have a quick look at your pattern layout. It may be that you might just want to space things out a little bit. Um, and just see how your pattern pieces are laying, laid onto your fabric. But you should be okay with 140 wide. I know I've just said it's 150 because in my head, they're kind of like almost the same kind of thing. They're wide rather than narrow. Um, but all of the fabrics are 140 wide. So just double check, but you probably will be fine. There we go. Beach pajamas. Oh yes, that would look amazing. Yep, absolutely. Beach pajamas in that would look fabulous. And I love that kind of just soft kind of blush. It's such a, I love this. It's almost like a, it's a quite a sophisticated color, I think. There we go. So that's Siesta Beach, which is another lovely one. I'm gonna pop that over the other side now. Give my ironing board a rest. <laughs> there we go. Now this, I have shown you before. I love these two together, actually. I think they're lovely. This is um, another viscose. But it has a very tiny little, and I, should, I probably showed it to you last week, but I think it just works really nicely as a foil for some of these prints. It's just got, yeah, it's got a very tiny little spot in it, and I love it. Yeah, you I've, can just about see that hopefully yeah. at home. I've got uh, some of this earmarked for a Julia top for me, for myself, which I think is going to look lovely. I don't know whether you can see that. You can just about see the spot in there. Oh, Debbie, if it's for a tiered skirt, then um, you should be fine, actually. If it's gathering and you're losing a couple of inches, you can either add in extra or you might just be able to get away with just a little bit less fullness in the skirt, depending on what design you're making up. But um, yeah, there we go. I really like those two. Now, this is a new one. It's a kind of a, it's similar to the onlookers in terms of um, kind of colours and style. It's called Hands On. Again, it's navy background, but it has those kind of like sort of um, hand drawn hands, which I think is quite cool, actually. And it has, although the most of the drawing is, is in white, it has got some lovely kind of pale turquoisey blue patches in it which is really nice. Plus I zoom in on mm. those if I can. Find some oh yeah yeah yeah. Bit there. there, yeah. Again I think this would look really cute in um, a Desdemona or a Miranda dress actually would look quite nice. Or even a Hippolyta. 
my gosh, there's so many, so many things you could do with this. I love it. I think it's great, actually. Again, it's 140. I need to get that right. 140 wide. Um, and it's a cotton lawn. So again, lovely to work with. But I would use a new needle and a number 70 is probably about the right size for this. There we go. Now, I think half of this has probably gone already, actually. Um, this is the one that I'm wearing. But it's actually, there we go. There we are. This is Crane Island. And I love it. I'm just trying to see if it's, it's a slight, maybe it's a slightly different colorway to this. Yeah. I, I think, think it is a slightly different colorway, actually. Uh, yours is yeah. It's a pink, and that one's got. It's got yellow in it, yellow. which I actually prefer, I have to say. So you're going to have to make another one. I, might, I may indeed have to, yes. I love this. I think this is gorgeous. Oh, it's upside down. Look, I've got my cranes upside down. <laughs> there we are. Isn't that... I love that. I actually prefer it with the yellow in it, to be honest, because that actually matches better with my ring. That's true. There we go. Which is great, actually. I love that. I think that's amazing. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to be getting some of that, I think. Your patterns don't have how much fabric you need when just looking for fabric. Um, which one are you looking at, Dilith? Uh, there should be, when you go to the product page on the website, there should be the back information that tells you how much fabric you're going to need. Um, because it can vary from size to size. So do have a look on the product page of the website for each pattern that you're interested in. And you should be able to have, um, they should be, the information should be there. If not, just email us and we're happy to help. Emma, oh yes, it does look like a slightly, I know it's very slightly different, isn't it? But I'm actually quite liking it's, it. It's yeah. greyer and it has yeah. yellow, so it's supposed to, to pink. Yes, I think the same, the flowers are the same size by the looks of it. So yeah, it just might look slightly different because it's got a slightly different colourway in it. But I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Um, it looks like Leanne's put the free PMP code up now as well. So don't forget to use that over the weekend. That'll be there until midnight on Sunday. So let me pop that one over there. Make a little bit more space. Now, these, I think, actually work with this beautiful red crepe. Actually, I'm going to put that one there as well, so you can kind of see how that works together. This is Scarlet Brush Strokes. Now, we have had this in before, um, and we used it. No, we didn't use it. It went, actually, we were going to use it to make up the Regan, but it went really, really quickly. I think it was at a show we did. I can't remember which one now. I love it. It's such bright kind of cheerful colours in there with that lovely red um, and the green. And the t actually, so that beautiful red crepe works really nicely with it. But the teal looks really good as well, actually, which is really nice. There we go. Oh, um, let's just see. Oh, yeah, Nicola, so pleased I've just purchased it. Lovely, that's brilliant. Oh, Dilith, you're making the jumpsuit. Um, if you go to the Cressida product page on the website, it should tell you how much fabric you're going to need. Um, and we've also got it in the sewing studio as well as one of our in-depth courses. And you can also get the Cressida as a dress too, which is quite a nice one to make up. Um, and the information should be there, but if you can't find it, do let us know and we can help. Um, oh, Tina, you prefer the one I'm wearing. You're not that keen on the yellow. Nope, that's fine. Cutting brush strokes today for Helena. Oh, lovely. That's nice, actually. That's going to look beautiful in a Helena. Yeah, I love it. You've, I just, yeah, sometimes I like kind of muted greys and things like that. And I tend to kind of go that way more in the winter. But when it's bright, kind of sunny colours, I think it just cheers you up a bit, really, doesn't it? 
So I love those two. This is a really nice one. Now, I don't I can't remember whether we still, I think we've still got a bit of the, um, we're waiting for another colorway to come in. And we have got one already downstairs, I think. I can't remember which one it is, but I remember seeing this downstairs. Honestly, if I had half a brain, I'd be dangerous. Um, now, this is really cool. And I know this is uh, a new one that's been out there for a bit. There we go. This, I love that. Look at that. That is so cool, isn't it? There we go. It's called Epic Spectacle. <laughs> Now this would look amazing in a Hippolyta, wouldn't it? It really would. I'm loving that. It's actually much bigger than I thought it was going to be. The last one would look great with jeans. Actually, Christine, it would, yes. That's really nice, isn't it? I love this. So hopefully you've got, these are quite a few different ideas. We've got the different patterns going on here. Lots of them are, and they're not all florals either. So I know people kind of said, oh, I like it, but have you got anything that's not floral? So we've tried to kind of go with things that aren't lots of flowery stuff. A little bit more contemporary, a little bit more unusual, hopefully. So I hope we're striking the right kind of note here. Um, I'm, I, yeah, this would look really cool. Uh, imagine a Cressida in this. That would look amazing, wouldn't it? I'm loving that. So then we've got, now I've again, I've not thrown this in again. This is another viscose, but actually it works really nicely with this brush strokes. Um, I've just made a pair of trousers in this and they have come out beautifully. They really have. This is one of our Atelier Brunette crepes and it's just a really lovely soft viscose crepe. Unfortunately, it's got a little bit squished underneath everything else, but you can see how lovely that works with the brush strokes there. Oh, I'm just having a quick look. No, Christine says no social distancing there. Do you mean here <laughs> or? <laughs> oh, there we oh, go. The, um... Oh yeah, with the glasses, with the sunglasses. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I know they are. It does look amazing, doesn't it? It really does. It would be great at a festival. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, apparently music events are able to go along outside now, aren't they? Apparently, is it from today or is it, no, from Monday, I think. I'm not sure. I lose track, to be honest. I lose track of what's going on. But actually, those two would work really nicely together. Now, we've got a few more kind of greeny fabrics. Now, green seems to be a little bit, love it or hate it, I don't know. Do people wear green? I would wear green. Um, and this is the same fabric as the navy that we had earlier, but it's a lovely kind of, it's almost, it's a little bit yellower than a bottle green. It's almost like a moss kind of green, which I think is really lovely. Again, I think a little kind of an Imogen in this, worn with a pair of jeans, would be really pretty, actually. I think that's lovely. And it works beautifully with another new one that we've had in. This is great. This is called Artsy Leaf. There we are. And again, this is another chalice. These are both viscose chalice. Now, slightly different. I quite like this sort of peachy sort of look in here. It's quite nice. So those work quite nicely. So we're starting to get some of our kind of autumnal fabrics in, which sounds a bit bonkers, really, because we're still in July. Um, but we start to get different kinds of fabrics coming in from now, really, um, so that you've got time to make stuff for the autumn. Now, actually, to, of making stuff for the autumn, has anybody started thinking about the C word? No. no I don't mean COVID. <laughs> Surely it's too early. Well, I don't know. We've actually, next week, we're going to be hoiking out all of our Christmas stuff. What? I know. I know, you can tell me off. I, I, am, fully... I am going to. No, but seriously, <laughs> if you are looking to make stuff for Christmas, now is the time really to start thinking about it and planning what you're going to do. Um, and so we are, yeah, I know it's awful, isn't it really? 
Um, but autumn stuff, Christmas, I know I wince when I say it myself, but if we are thinking about making things for that time of year, now is the time to start planning for it. Um, and this, I think, would be amazing. I love it. It's just, oh, you just want to stroke it, this viscose chalice. It's just so gorgeous. It really is. I love that. In fact, oh yeah, new pattern I'm working on at the moment. That would look amazing. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm not going to say anything more. <laughs> so are there, there any go. secret coat? Uh, any hints about when no. the next pattern no. might be out? No, I'm not going to say anything, Charlie, because it's still a work in progress. Um, although we are actually hiring. We are hiring. Oh, yes. yes. Um, I am looking for an assistant, someone that can help me uh, put together new patterns and content for the sewing studio and new online courses and stuff like that. So if you go over to the blog, there's more information about that. Um, if you go to our main Sew Me Something website, right at the bottom of the page, there's a little bit under information called Work With Us. And that's got information about the position that we're offering at the moment. We're looking for somebody who has got Illustrator and Adobe skills um, because we're doing a lot of online stuff now. So we need a lot more kind of graphic content. Um, if you think that you might fit the bill um, or you know somebody who might, do pass um, our details on to them so that they can apply for the job. All we're looking for is for people to send in a covering letter which is the really important bit because actually the covering letter can tells, tells me a lot more about you um, than the list of stuff that you've done on your CV. Um, so we are looking for a production assistant to help me put together new patterns and content. So if you know of anybody, tell them to get in touch. Um, and that way we're going to be able to get a lot more stuff done rather than just relying on me all the time because we're growing and we're doing more things and we need our team to grow as well. So if you know of anybody, do let them know. Last fabric I'm going to show you now uh, is this one. Now again, this is a little bit more kind of graphic, a little bit more autumnal, but I actually quite like it. It has this lovely kind of Air Force blue and olive pattern, a bit more of a graphic kind of pattern to it. Again, this is a chalice, but I think it's lovely. It would make up beautifully into... Um, Actually, it would make up really nicely in the crest of the jumpsuit, that would. That would look amazing. Oh, I li I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Um, Kerry said, did I, did I tease about cargo pants before? Would, I would also love some of the haremish pants. Yeah, I know. They'd be quite cool, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, Debbie says she started Christmas things. It's the only way to avoid a mad panic in December. See, Debbie, I'm totally with you, actually. I'm totally with you there. I've been, for years and years, I've been saying I'm going to get more organised for Christmas. And I do it in a massive rush at the beginning of December. Which is not good, really, is it? Whereas I do it at the end of December. <laughs> I know, yeah, Charlie's even worse than I am. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Uh, oh, secret coat. Oh. I'm just having a quick look through. That's beautiful. Love the colours. Thought you meant making coats, Christine. Ah, we, we will be doing a coat pattern later on, actually, but uh, yeah. Oh, I wish I could retrain our apply. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. There we go. I know this is the trouble you see. We are at Stratford, so yes, you are going to need to get, and you will need a car to get here, because unfortunately public transport out to where we are at the moment is a bit limited. Um, out in the countryside? Out in the countryside, on yes. Uh, <laughs> Kathy says, I'll make you coffee and buy you crisps. Oh, I wish, <laughs> I wish. That sounds perfect. Oh, dear. <laughs> I have a Charlie for that. But he's quite good at making coffee. Yeah, but I try not to. You buy try you not crisps. to. I know, because he is my feeder. And that's <laughs> not good, actually, considering I've tried to lose weight. But there we go. So I'm hoping. You're going to like some of the fabrics that we've shown you today. Let me tip these onto their sides so you can see them a bit better. There we go. That's better. Oops. There we are. So actually they look much nicer when you see them all in a line kind of thing and you can kind of colour story them together, which is good. 
Um, do you have a favourite colour? One of the things that actually we've noticed at the moment is purple doesn't seem to be that popular. It's quite hard for us to find purple fabrics at the moment. Mm. Do you wear purple? Is it one of your favourite colours? Would you wear purple if you could find it? That's a question. Um, it's interesting to see what colours are popular at the moment and uh, what colours are coming out for next year. I try and keep abreast of what's going on. It doesn't necessarily follow through with the kind of fashion stuff with home sewing, but it gives us an idea as to what's, what's coming out and what we can plan for. Um, but if there's anything that you want us to try and source, then do let us know and we'll see what we can do. It is hard at the moment trying to find decent fabrics, um, especially linens and things like that, but we're doing our best. Um, so do let us know if there's anything that you need us to look for and we will find. I'm um, definitely navy and pinks, all Tina, yes, I know that's a nice combination actually, isn't it? No to purple, that's interesting, yeah. Oh, well, yes to purple, <laughs> so bad, so it's like, yeah. Oh, could I see the faces with the sunglasses? Yes, you certainly can, Laurie, there we go. This, actually, Laurie, I can see you in this. I think this would be one of your fabrics, wouldn't it? Look at that. I think it's just gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. There we are. I'll zoom in. Okay. Blow fashion, create your own, exactly. Not purple, especially not lilac. It washes you out. But I love an iris blue or cornflower blue. Do you know what? It's really interesting, isn't it? You think we lost... Oh, are we lost? Lost the video. I don't know if people think we can hear us, but we seem to have just lost. Ah, okay. The video. Um. Oh, I'm liking the uh, purple. Yep, emerald, green, and bright red. Oh, Mary, that's a really nice combination. I like that. Not a purple or a green person. It's interesting, isn't it? Love purple. It depends. I think it's one of those things, isn't it, where. Um, you have to get the right shade and then it's fine. So, yep, st we're still here. Oh, that's good. Oh, still see and hear you. Yeah, well, I think we're working, Charlie. I think we're okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. What pattern would show off the best? Actually, Laurie, I think something like um, Hippolyta would work really nicely with this or even a, an Amelia so that you've got a really nice large expanse of fabric that will really show off the pattern because that's what you want to see isn't it really i think that would look amazing actually amelia would look really nice in this i think that would be brilliant yeah uh question about workshops if did they uh yep oh. we're looking at it we are looking at it um we will probably be um, trying to fit the ones that we've had to postpone in first before we put any new ones up. Um, and we're trying to look at uh, how we're basically talking to the tutors and um, how we're going to how people are feeling about coming in and doing stuff. Running a workshop is a bit different to just going in and out of a shop, because um, if you're in and out of a shop, you're in and out quite quickly. Whereas when you're doing a workshop, you're kind of breathing in and out the same air as other people for at least three, if not six, seven hours. So it's a little bit of a different kind of situation. Um, we're looking at the PPE and the, the things that we can put in place. And it may well be that we're going to try and get um, all of the workshops that we've had planned and get those out and done sorted first before we plan any new ones. Um, but we will keep you posted on all of that, so don't worry. As soon as we've got anything sorted, then um, we will let you know. And in the meantime, we've got lot online in yes. the sewing studio, and I'm editing another video right now. Yep, um, we're going to be filming more next week, so uh, do come and join us in the sewing studio. There's loads going on in there, and our Slack community is lovely. It's full of the most amazing people. It really is. Um, so I am going to, would it be bad if you decapitated them? <laughs> Christine, are you worried about the people? In the, I don't think they're going to mind, really. I don't think they're going to mind. I think you'll be fine. Uh, looking forward to more online projects in your patterns. Yes, that's another question, actually, that I'm going to put to people. In terms of what you want to see in the sewing studio, 
Do you want to have our patterns done as projects that you can follow along to? Or are you more interested in um, fitting things and maybe pattern cutting courses and stuff like that? That's another little one we're going to throw out there. Um, and we might put a little poll into our Slack community um, and we might even ask a question in our newsletter so that you can reply to that as well. It's just interesting to see because obviously it's all very well us kind of thinking, yeah, we're going to do this, this and this. But if you guys are actually thinking, do you know what? I just want a project to work to, then that's absolutely fine. And what we can do then is work out which ones we're going to do. So let us know what you'd like us to do in there and what you need help with and we will do our best to get it sorted for you. Um, Ursula, oh, that's okay. That was quite quick. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. <laughs> that's good. Um, fitting and pattern cutting, definitely. I think we're going to get a mixture here, actually. So <laughs> I think, that, yeah, I don't know why I bothered to answer the question, really, because people want everything, which is absolutely fine. It just gives me an idea of um, the order that we do stuff in. So obviously, because we can only do something, uh, certain things at a time. So if we know that actually more people are interested in the pattern cutting and stuff like that, we can start getting a pattern cutting thing going. Um, if people just want to do a project or if people are clamoring to, for one particular pattern, then we can make sure that we do that as a, as a preference. So we're trying to get our list of priorities sorted. We will eventually get round to doing all of our patterns as full in-depth courses. It's just a question of which bit do we do first? That's all. So, um, yeah, we absolutely, Mary says, absolutely, we want everything. Of course you do, Mary. Of course you do. You wouldn't be human if you didn't. <laughs> yeah, all of it. Yeah. But, but loving the online projects at the moment. That's good. Both so useful. We'll think about it. Lovely. Trouser fitting and hero pants. Yeah, no, that's cool. Doing the projects is, yeah. So interesting. Do keep the comments coming. Even after we've stopped, do feel free to add comments to the, f uh, the feed that we've got going on after the video and that way we'll be able to cover a good kind of an idea as to what people are interested in. So I hope that you've found some fabrics there that you like today and I hope that you're going to have a lovely sewing weekend. I think it's supposed to brighten up a bit this weekend, hopefully. Um, and we will see you on Tuesday for some more technique stuff. Um, but do look out for our newsletters. The Fabric Friday newsletter will be out later on today. Um, we're going to start doing one after the Technique Tuesday as well, actually, just so that you can find it a bit easier. And if there are anything, any things that we think would be useful in the Technique Tuesday, we can put links to, so you'll be able to find everything a little bit easier. We're hoping to kind of make navigating things around a bit easier for people so that everything's just like literally a click away. So it makes it a bit easier for you to find things. Have a fantastic weekend and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. So happy sewing. Take care.